Oh man, love drinking my morning coffee right before my day begins. Let's get to it. Oh, so we got a new addition. Young Gina here just came to the farm. Hey, Gina. There we go. We'll feed Gina. We put her right here. She kind of likes this area, so I decided to put her doghouse right there. So for now, she's going to be over there. Might move her around. I don't want her too close to the buildings or whatever, just so I don't have to worry about running her over when we're moving around equipment and all that stuff. Not, no one wants to ever do that. So we did get done chiseling. And man, are these workhorses amazing. These John Deere's are one heck of uh, tillage tractors. Ooh, man, I need to clean off the radiator on this one. So we'll get that cleaned off. So uh, Buck, young Buck came and he chiseled that big field across the way. You can probably see it over there. And now I want him to start. He's been itching and clawing he wants to run this uh alice here he just wants to run it so bad so i'm gonna get it started and i'm gonna go across the field across way here and uh start chiseling up oh i didn't tell you so we did get that field rented from the farmer at least for this first year he decided to rent it for us so we got that field we got another smaller field right across his uh, house way there uh, so we're gonna I want to get them started on that and then we need to figure out something to do about planting I think I got a solution oh so I did not even notice this but one of the things this planner is lacking is a uh, row markers I don't know how we're so I didn't even think about it when I purchased it so we're gonna have to get some row markers on this planner so we can use it uh, otherwise we are gonna have the most windy rolls in the county because uh, yeah how are you gonna tell you're planting in a straight line without row markers you don't know, that's why all these John Deere's have these little uh, arrows in the front there. Zets for row markers. This one has it too. That's so that you can use it for uh, when you're planting or any other things. I used to try to look something forward and uh, point it at a tree or something like that so I can keep in a straight line even when I was chiseling. All right, so you probably noticed right here, so we got this all fixed up. So we got that, if you know, when we uh, purchased this, our actuators were kind of messed up. We also put a spare tire on the back and we gave it a nice paint job. So now this thing is finally ready to be run in the field. Man, I haven't told Timmy is so excited about running it, but I'm excited about running it. This thing, it has just a knob right here. You just turn that and you can set the depth. So this thing is fixed up and ready to go. Put even new disc on it. Hmm. I'm excited about get using this new disc because I wasn't too excited about my uh, cultivator here. It just uh, seen its day and it was about ready to be wore out so I'm gonna go park that back in the reed weed row just in case we might need it one day but I'm gonna start going around that field and then uh, hand the reins over to little Timmy the mo one of the things I love about these Alice is, is they got two smokestacks I just think that's so cool how they got two mufflers basically going out of these things so uh, you don't see that very uh you don't really see that too often on these tractors so hopefully this thing pulls this uh, 30 foot disc all right 
Oh man, starts right up. Glad Gina doesn't get too bothered with the tractor sounds and all that. All right, so we are going right across the field. So this is a, oh, I wanna show you on my map here. I'll show you where we're located at. Okay, so this is our farm right here. This is our, the farm we rented right over here. Uh, we got 30, that's uh, building 34 and 35. Uh, we got this area right here right south of Grant's house and uh, Jake's and we're right north of Clutch's and then uh, Austin he's way over there and then uh, our good friend uh, Hank or Buck whoever you want to call him he's over across the river in Wisconsin he, he's a Wisconsin he's not in Iowa but we are going to start on field 34 here Ooh, no trespassing. Good thing we're renting this. Oh, I thought that said violators will be uh, shot, just prosecuted. No. Gonna have to change that sign. Alright, we'll unfold this disc here. Hydraulics in this tractor are so good. It's one of the things I always wish they would put into Farming Simulator is basically hydraulic noises. I think that would help some of the realism. Alright, we're going to start chiseling around here. Wow. This thing will really make this thing fly around this field. here so it looks like this used to be bean stubble farmers around here looked like they were big into beans this is definitely an odd shaped field Kind of follows the little uh, mountain top around here. Timmy's definitely going to enjoy, uh, I guess, uh, plowing up or uh, disking up this land. Main reasons I wanted to rent this land too is I want to farm or fish in that pond there. I mean, that's an important part when you're picking out land to rent is to make sure they got good fishing holes so you can fish at and enjoy fishing in that little pond over there. And it's such a scenic view too. And it's far around this uh, field that we have to uh, go around the outskirts. I think we're going to be about one quarter done with this whole farmland. With just one path around. We are only like halfway around this field so far.
Alright, so we are almost finally back to where we started. You can see we are going... This is not a short way around track around this field. Good thing is the disc, the tractor, everything's running great. Tractor hardly is... E e this tractor isn't even hardly bogging down with this 30 foot disc. I think I'm gonna get uh, Timmy started here. Gotta figure out a path that he could go on. Get him running around this field. And then I need to go make a pickup. All right, there's that young man. He's taken off. Have to make sure uh, he gets fed there for all this hard work. All right, so now we need to run back, get our truck running again. All right, I think I'm going to put these uh, tractors away before I pull out that truck, just because I don't like leaving them outside, and I got them all washed up, so. Oh, get running there. All right. There we go. Always got to let this thing idle out first. Try backing this up in there. Not though. I wish I had a little bit wider of a door, but got to do what, what we have. Almost got it backed up right there. There we go. All right, got that. Now I want to park this in the weed row somewhere. Alright, so I hope I don't have problems hitting that tire again. Don't think I will. I'm gonna get the air brakes start pressurizing up. There we go. Let this run for a little while here. Alright, we are just gonna start heading down. Oh, yep. Clear over there. All right, we're going to start heading down. There's young Timmy. Oh, man, he looks like he's having troubles backing up over there. I miss that. I want to make sure I miss my mailbox. All right, start heading down the road. Need to put my Jake brake on. Going down that windy path. Man, you'll ruin your brakes going down that thing. Sure no one's coming. Am I gonna miss that? Yep. Alright. Oh, stay on the road there, buddy. Stop here just kills me how you never see any traffic around here. Definitely be nice to see some traffic once in one of these times. Ooh, better watch out. Alright. So this is actually across from the local John Deere dealership. We got a new drills. Came in. came in at least. Oh, they, yeah. 
they had them ordered in, so they didn't have uh, room at their current area, so they uh, put them over here by the auction house. Here they are. So there's three of them here. We gotta get all three of these loaded. Ooh, man, I'm gonna have to somehow, I don't think I can put them sideways on here. That may be an issue. Wasn't thinking about that. Hmm. I'm gonna have to get a tractor and try to back them on there, probably one at a time, and then hook them together. That is not going to be easy. All right, we got all three of them loaded now. Now we just have to uh, strap them down. John Deere, he brought over that uh, 7020 over there basically loaded them up so we just need to take them home now make sure these things stay up there throw my blinker wow we are kind of wide here gonna take this very carefully it's one thing about these train tracks they are a little bit protruding they need to do some work on these train tracks see they're bouncy gotta take that nice and easy Whew. I think I'm going to do another legal turn. You guys will have to forgive me. Alright, I think we are safe on the way home. Now all we have to do is figure out some way to get some seed to the house here. You see right off the edge there, that's where our uh, that's where our tire blew and our tractor took a spill right there. Still got the dirt marks going into the, the ditch there. I am all over the road right now. It's hard getting up this hill and uh, driving straight. Make sure we turn this wide enough. Want to take out our sign over there? A little bit in the ditch there. Gotta be careful. So this field right down the way is where we want to plant at. See how Timmy's doing over here. Don't know where Timmy's at over there. Uh oh, that might be a problem. in nice and careful make sure we don't hit him alright so we are going to get this over right here I believe alright so we got all three of our uh, drills unloaded here and hooked up. So now I just need to go get some seeds so we can start planting. Man, this is going to be probably the widest planter in the county right now. So I need to fill all these up. So I need to go get some bags of grass seed. I decided just to plant grass seed instead of alfalfa. I I just don't know uh, if we the alfalfa will stick this first year. We might go into alfalfa next year. I was thinking about planting grass and then planting alfalfa with it or planting something like uh, barley 
or oats with alfalfa, but uh, ended up just planting grass or deciding on grass. So I need to get our truck. Oh, start up, old beast. All right, so we'll head down there and pick up some uh, seed here quickly. All right, so Jake helped us load these bags of seed on here. So we're going to get these strapped down. Make sure they don't go... Don't lose any of these seeds, because, man, are they expensive. Man. But hopefully we can get these back home and uh, get them in our planter and get done here quickly. Clear. Yep, we should be good to go. Can't see. I'm gonna have to take my guns out of this thing so I could see better. Alright, turn over here. Start heading down the road. Hopefully get to plant this afternoon. Man. I get so nervous when I'm driving up this hill and everything, but it is such a beautiful road going up these hills. Man, is this a beautiful little pathway here. All the way up. I'm nervous because I blew a tire and freaking lost a tractor almost. We will get back home and hopefully uh, I can start right into planting. That wide planter, it's not going to take us very long whatsoever, and we'll be done with that field. Ooh, man. It's old Ford. It's... Ooh. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wasn't able to turn there for whatever reason. Huh. Man. Oh, what happened? The trailer pushed up my front tires or something, but it would not let me turn right here. I was going to say, this old uh, Ford is getting a little hot pulling this uh, trailer up here, so I need to get back to the farm so I can cool it off. Alright, we are just driving into our driveway here. Ooh, man. Things getting nice and hot. Quick. Just going to kind of baby it. Going to have to check the fluids. Make sure it has enough coolant in it. Might be a little... Oh, wow. Having a little problems here. Alright. I think we're about home now. Carrying these bags over here. Gonna unload these into our cedar. Whew. Man. So many bags. Alright, so we got all them bags. I think I'm going to go park this into our garage right away. I'm going to have to get my truck moved out of the way here. It's in the way. Can't really back it into our garage because... Uh, I'm going to park this trailer in our uh, garage just so the bags don't get wet. Yeah. Nice and tight fit here. All right, we'll leave that right there. Shut that off. All right, so now we get to finally get to start planting. All right, let's start our new tractor up and all of our new cedars here. You know, are they set right? So uh, planting grass is really small, so you've got to set these all the way down. Grass seeds are basically really... Oh, this one's set too far, so... We'll tick that down a little bit and then get to plant all right now I gotta figure out how I'm going to get out of my driveway here this is not easy with all these hooked up Ooh. wow not going to be easy backing these up This isn't working out for me. Wow, that one's just going to stay there. Whew. Hopefully I can get over to our field. Got to go around these uh, light poles. Am I going to miss them? 
Wow, just barely missed that one. Just barely missed that one. Whew. Man. I probably need to cut down these trees I have right here. Uh, I'm having a heck of a time being able to plant. All right. Oh, man, I got that one way out there in the middle of nowhere. Wasting seed. This is not the field that you want to start in on this. I probably should have just hooked up one, did this field, and hook them up together. All three of these planters, they all have a mine of their own. Alright. Looks like I missed a little area right here. Be alright if we uh, double plant a little bit here. Alright. Turn off all these planters. Now we got the task of trying to get through our farmyard to our back field. I am glad this will probably be the only time we will have to get back there with all three of these planters. Wasn't really thinking about this when I hooked them all three together. Ooh, don't think we could get through there. Oh man. And I have to. This is going to be a tight fit. Whoo! So I finally got through all that junk right there. Now I have to figure out how to wind through these trees. Whew, man, this is not easy. Uh oh, uh oh, I am really sideways here. Oh man, now I have to re back up, try again. And this is taking forever to get back to that field. Should probably just unhook one of these. Probably be way easier. Ooh, that seemed like it took forever. Finally done. Made it through. Don't want to ever have to do that again. I'm going to unhook them or put them in a straight line when I come through. Probably should have just lined them all up first and then, uh, hooked them up, but I was being lazy. Get this outside pass done on this field. This is a, going to be a good little grass patch for us. That's for sure. Probably, I just wanted to get this just because it's kind of hard to get back here and everything. It'll be easier to get back here, I hope, with failing equipment. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in the 80s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.